All right, my friends, you've got to get your emergency supplies up. Um, they're on sale now, which is good because when the supply chain broke down uh, back in March and then into April and May, uh, you were having a hard time getting anything for emergency supplies. And now they're back. Now, what's going to happen in the wintertime when the freaking uh, the sniffles? <laughs> my man, Jericho Green, what's he, Jericho Green, what's he called? The, uh, the, Wuhu, the Wuhan sniffles or the Chinese sniffles, whatever it is. It's funny. But when people start getting sniffling, people are like, oh my goodness, we're all going to die. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? Get your stuff now, man. I'm telling you, who knows what kind of riots are going to happen? Who knows? But if you don't have food and water, you're out of luck. you got to get it. And if the supply chain breaks, you're screwed. That's all there is to it. So a couple good deals lately on uh, on the, on food gear. This I just bought both these. So this is from Amazon. Uh, Aug there you go. Augustin. Uh, and I buy tons of stuff from August and August and farms. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, lunch and dinner, uh, variety pail, four gallon pail. Uh, you get 92 servings, 21,000 calories. So basically if you take our trusty calculator and you do 90, uh, 21,000 calories and you divide that by 92, you're getting, uh, 200 and basically 230, uh, calories per uh, per meal, if you will. So that's a per serving. So that yeah, probably lasts 15 to 20 days or so. Yeah, I'd say probably 15, yeah, probably 15 to 20 days. Um, but you're getting a 33% discount. Uh, so saving 28 bucks, which is good. So you can load up on these guys. Uh, I bought one of these the other day. As you can see, I purchased it August 27th. Now I also have, I do my own dehydrating. So I'll go to Costco and I'll buy a bunch of like baby carrots, blueberries, strawberries, um, what else? Uh, corn, all kinds. And I'll, you know, I'll probably, I'll sit there and probably half, I probably spend a half hour a day on dehydrate, dehydrating stuff in terms of prepping it, put on the, like my baby carrots, I'll put on the dehydrator uh, for about eight to 10 hours or so, let that sucker go and then come back and put it in a vacuum seal, vacuum seal it up. And I'll show you what I got for that kind of stuff too, in case you want to start your own thing here. Hold on just a second. Right here is a stainless steel tray for dehydrators. Uh, this is the best on the market for sure. Um, I shouldn't say the best, but one of the best on the market. Uh, right now it's 15% uh, off. You save 30 bucks. I always challenge these Amazon stuff. I think it's just a marketing, kind of like if you go to Macy's, everything's on sale. It's always on sale. But anyway, as you can see here, uh, seven stainless steel trays, 518 ratings, five stars for the most part. It's, it's a good product for sure. Uh, Magic Mill. Um, there's other products that are, what's the other one right here? The other one that's a little bit more well-known is not, uh, is this it? No, not NutriChef. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, so I'm very much looking forward to using this. And uh, the reason being is because it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's better. Now I've had a couple of the uh, Nesco dehydrators. Uh, one I just use so much and the, uh, the heating element just busted. So I just, I try to mess around with it. And I said, I'll just throw it away. Uh, but anyway, so definitely get yourself some dehydrators too. And look, you can put all kinds of beef jerky on there. You know, beef doesn't stay that good for that long. I mean, if you dehydrate it, you put it in the refrigerator or freezer, I should say, it'll stay, you know, like a year or two. Uh, but you definitely don't want to, you, you got to eat that probably within a year. Don't, don't listen to me on that. You got to do your own research. Or you buy this book right here, Essentials of Functional Foods. I'll put a link in the show notes for that as well talks about this, but you got to get your preps in order, man. So what I do is, like I said, I do some baby carrots, throw them on there 10 hours, get them, uh, dehydrate them, and that thing right there, uh, dehydrate and put them in a vacuum seal, and I guess I'll show you my vacuum seal I got. Hold on just a second. The vacuum sealer I have uh, by Food Saver it works freaking fantastically. It's easy to use. It took me a little bit to figure it out. I mean a little bit. It just you know, took me about an hour to see how it works. I probably wasted a couple bags. Um, but anyway, so what I do, again, put them in. I got beef, dry, I dehydrate, dry be uh, ground beef so i have this big i have all these five gallon buckets and i got a big uh you know where i just so anytime i get something back so i just throw in the bucket you know what i'm saying and i secure it and then i'll you know you can lock it up tightly airtight so the bugs don't get in there and whatnot um and i just keep doing that keep adding and then when i find deals like i just did i keep adding uh so you need a vacuum sealer you need a dehydrator and if you can get some dehydrated food already prepared for you it's great man i'm telling you there's no reason you shouldn't be doing that so let's go back uh, to the, uh, that's the same as steel thing. Let's go back to the right here. All right. So here we got, uh, uh, I don't even know what they got in there. Let's see. I forgot what it was. They got, uh, and I got scrambled egg mix. I mean, I got all this stuff, man. That's crazy. Cause you know, let me read something from you here real quick from, uh, from where I was from in Maine. So I'm from Maine originally. It says, 
Uh, these were the real Yankees in New Hampshire. The people around whom he was raised are not natural optimists and presume that disaster is just around the corner. One must be prepared for misfortune. Maybe it's from their Calvinist heritage. The land and climate have never been conducive to prosperity. Hard and tough and rocky, and that's how they thought about life. Up there, New Hampshire in this case, they didn't live in ostentatious homes or drive fancy cars, even though some could well afford such luxuries. Money was to be hoarded, used as a bulwark against the hard times ahead. That's uh, from a book called um, Up North by, uh, who is this guy who had written this? Um, John McGoggle. What's this guy's name? Um, John McGauley. Oh, I love that book. Anyway, that's 100% right. Uh, when you're living in the, the tough climes, you uh, are natural pessimistic, preparing for hard days ahead, as, as always. So... Uh, you'd be stupid not to have some preps here. And here we got, uh, you know, they got cheesy broccoli rice, hearty vegetables, a chicken soup, uh, corn chowder, creamy potato soup, chocolate pudding, creamy stroganoff, fettuccine, Alfredo, Italiano, Mariano, macaroni and cheese. All right, so that's fantastic. I, you know, you get on sale, that's great. Now, I also got this thing from Costco here, too. This is the Arc. It's 25 bucks off, 90 bucks, 30-day supply. Uh, the Arc. Uh, 2020 food storage kit. You know, let's see how many calories are in here. Uh, 2,000 calories per day. So that's fantastic. So you got, look how much, look here. I mean, you're saving 100 bucks off of Amazon. So this is fantastic. No reason you shouldn't buy both. I tell you, one person, 30 days, 2,000 calories per day. All right. So you're going to have uh, uh, 60,000 calories in here for 99 bucks. That's a smoking deal, man. Um, due to high demand, uh, uh, volume of this may take times longer than normal to, uh, to deliver. I'm telling you exactly. Now the problem with this, you're going to get a lot of oatmeal uh, and cereal. And that's the only thing I don't like is oatmeal and cereal. You can get yourself and just dehydrate that as easy. Hell, it's already dehydrated. So you just vacuum seal it. Um, but you got some soup, you got some pudding, cheese, grits, broccoli, rice, potatoes. Um, but anyway, either way, uh, for, for simplicity, you just go in Costco and you buy this, you get a couple of these and, and for at least one month but forever, for every every stomach you have in your house, get at least one month. For a freaking five hundred bucks, you're you're golden, and you don't have to worry about it again. If the SHTF doesn't happen, all right, you got some extra food. It costs five hundred bucks. It's just this is a smoking deal here. If you're not doing that, I think you're making a huge mistake. And I think if you're relying, I'll do it some other time. I think you're making a big mistake. Now uh, I don't get paid for Costco stuff, but I'll put links in the show notes. I do get paid for Amazon stuff. All these things will be in links in there. So if you do buy it through my links, I will get paid. It's four percent commission, man. So if you buy something for fifty-eight bucks, I get uh, was that forty cents? Not even that. I don't know. Whatever, twenty-five cents. Uh, but every penny helps. So get your supplies up while they're abundant. It's it's Joseph feast and famine, feast and famine, man. The famine was small potatoes back in March, April, May, but it could come back, and now we're in feast. So freaking uh, stock up all the feasts are here. I right, would love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you.